from expanding your worldview to gaining international experience. There are numerous benefits accrued to studying in Canada, and all of them are geared towards enhancing both your resume and personal growth. However, prospective students do not know what to expect financially, and so we often get questions like, how much does it cost to study in Canada? This video will give you an idea of what to budget for your training study abroad experience. Hello, welcome to your favorite YouTube channel, Canada Migrate. If you are yet to subscribe to our channel, do well to click on the subscribe button as well as the bell icon to be alerted anytime we upload a video. To kickstart your studies in Canada, you have to choose between direct enrollment or a third party provider. Direct enrollment means you will personally handle all of your applications and transition to your new university on your own. At the end of the day, you will pay either home tuition fees or a fee specific to the program you chose. Why third party providers tend to arrange everything for you. This includes visa applications, housing and insurance, and other travel and study arrangements. Whichever one you choose, know that you still need a significant level of independence, especially in carrying out researches. Despite being one of the world's most popular destinations for international students, Canada offers a diverse variety of experiences and opportunities, and it has vast expanses, multicultural cities, and natural beauty. The tuition fees are generally less expensive than in other anglophone destinations like the US, UK, and Australia. However, this does not negate the fact that the cost of studying in Canada is quite high in comparison to other countries. Cost of living is approximately 600 to 800 Canadian dollars annually. Undergraduate school fees is a minimum of 20,000 to 35,000 Canadian dollars. Postgraduate fees is a minimum of 10,000 Canadian dollars. Study permits cost 150 Canadian dollars. There are other factors that affect the cost of your study in Canada, and they are housing and utilities, local transportation, food and drink, clothes and other supplies, entertainment, books and materials, passport and visa costs, and so on. Guys, this is where we'll call it a wrap for today. Please bear in mind that exchange rates can also change and this could affect your ability to pay your fees. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the subscribe button below and the bell icon to be notified whenever we publish a video. See you next time and bye for now.